Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're gonna try a keto version of one of my favorite snacks from before keto, macaroons from a company called Ketonia. And we will try these treats right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it so recently this company Ketonia reached out to us and said hey would you like to try our products and uh, when I saw macaroons I was like uh yes I'm excited about that okay but I cannot look away from this adorable little tagline here it says Ketonia not your Mima's cheese straws <laughs> <laughs> so these are obviously cheese straws, but like how cute is that? That is really cool. Meemaw. So a little bit about this company. There's a thing on the back. It says the Keto Redefined, founded by veteran French pastry chef Catonia Boulogne, uh, brings the best in baking and pastry to the forefront of keto nutrition. These macaroons bring the heavenly flavor and texture you'd expect from your favorite local bakery, but without the unneeded sugar. Grab them for breakfast, for a snack, as a dessert, or anytime you're looking for a delicious treat without the guilt. We know our macaroons will leave you thinking, what diet? A little bit about them, it's a mother and son. Yeah, this is from the Terry family, and mom is an amazing chef. Mm -hmm. But her son, John, this is, uh, I think it's Jerry Terry, yep. and then John Terry. And John Terry always struggled with his weight. He right. kind of jokingly says that it probably had something to do with how mom's cooking. delicious mom's cooking was. But when he was in high school, sports and being like moving all the time that kind of helped with it but mm. after school was over then he started packing on the pounds and he found a keto diet seven years i mean amazing and so now they're making keto treats where we can enjoy his mom's amazing cooking but also do it responsibly did you have some copy on the back before we try them i do it's actually the same as yours same copy yeah okay so where are we gonna try first there's a little thing on the bottom that says our promise from our first farmer's market in 2018 to becoming a staple on Amazon, our goal has been to help our customers and friends find success on keto. If for any reason our handmade macaroons don't leave you 100% satisfied, reach out and we're going to make it right. Again, once again, I love integrity coming from within the keto community, which is why we like these kind of companies. It's not a big corporate America company trying to jump in on keto. It took him five years to get his mom to do keto. So amazing. Which one we trying first? So we've got savory and we've got sweet. Do you want to start with savory? We'll start with savory. Now I understand this company also has cookies. Yes. Like chocolate chip cookies or something like that. But today we're doing the cheese straws and the macaroon. Now he did tell me everything is available on Amazon. Ooh. I will leave links down below oh for goodness. the stuff on Amazon. Nice and cheesy. And uh, he also gave us a coupon code for doing the review for you guys. We don't even make any money on the coupon code, but it is 22 crazy ketos. Right. And that will get you 20% off your order on Amazon. So again, it's 20 and then two crazy ketos, just the number 20. Right. Isn't that is kind of cool. It looks like little fried cheese sticks. Wow. Nice. That is, it's like a cheese cookie. It's got a nice sharpness to it. I mean, it's a little bit spicy. One. I know, you know, right? Yeah, it does. It does have a kick to it. At the bot, at the back. I want. Um, that is like. I don't know. As soon as you put it in your mouth, it like crumbles and melts, but it's almost like a cheese cookie. In a really good way. It's like a crust. My yes. favorite crust. It's like a crust. But if your pie crust was all cheese and then also had a kick to it. Mm. I want to read the nutrition on that so bad, but I'm not going to. It's We're so going to be buttery. good. Really buttery. Okay, wait. Wow. We're going to the good stuff. Well, that's good too, but. Um, but this is. You're all about the macaroons. Here's the thing. For me, growing up, I always loved macaroons. And then you I like the fresh ones, but the ones I really liked was you'd go to the grocery store 
and you'd get the ones in the little can. And I, I wanted the coconut ones, and then sometimes I just wanted the little chocolate ones where the chocolate was drizzled over the top. Mm -hmm. But I love macarons. I wonder, is this the chocolate drizzled kind? It looks like it's the plain kind. No, there's something in it. I can see it. Oh, that even smells like a macaron. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So, it just says coconut macarons, but it does look like there's the chocolate chips or something in there. It's got such a nice home-baked look to it. Wait, let's... Can we... Oh, yeah, there's chocolate chips in that. Oh, nice. Are you ready? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. That's a macaron. It says hashtag what diet? That is a macaron. What diet? Wow. That is a... The soft coconut. The same flavor. It even has... No real cooling effect. No, that creamy you know how like a macaroon has like that cream because it's like holding it all together you would use like cream of coconut yeah wow or condensed milk is what i think what you would use mm -hmm. wow this can't be good for you there's no way this is good for you want to do five things five things so if you're new to our channel excuse me if you're new to our channel it's rich we review all products based on five things we're going to talk about the nutrition. Does it keto based on the nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend? I can't stop thinking about these macaroons. You're without words. I did get a touch of a cooling effect at the very end there on the tip of my tongue. Just a little bit, but not much. I'm actually doing pretty and good. you're really sensitive to it. So if you're not getting it, it could just be the combination of the cheese with the macaroon. Which one are we doing first? Um, let's do the cheese first. Cheese first. All right, so, so number one, that's what we forgot, the ingredients. Number one is the ingredients. So the ingredients in these are cheddar cheese, almond flour, butter, egg whites, sunflower lecithin, garlic powder, salt, spices, xanthan gum, and sodium propanate with citric acid. Wow, those are clean ingredients. Those are really clean ingredients. They are putting those spices to work too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so here we go. Again, I feel like it can't. I want another one so I bad. I know, me too. I feel like I really do want another one. Me well, too. We only had a half a serving. Actually, we had a quarter of a serving. <gasps> two macaroons and a two serving? Two macaroons to a serving. God but bless that's, you, That's Pitonia. number two. That's number two. We got to do number one. It's like they know me. The ingredients coconut flakes, erythritol, which is erythritol and oleogosaccharides and natural flavors, egg whites. Blanched almond flour, dark chocolate, which is unsweetened chocolate, erythritol, and inulin and stevia, soy lecithin, and vanilla. That's all the chocolate. Vanilla extract, salt, sunflower lecithin, citric acid, sodium propionate, and xanthan gum. Again, like really clean ingredients. I like when they show it can be done. You can use clean ingredients and get out a product that's super tasty. Okay, so number two, does a keto based on a nutrition label? We're gonna start here. There's eight servings in this pouch. But they show the whole bag. I was nutrition. just gonna say, so they've got it the way that I like it, which is per serving and per container. I love it. And okay, so ready? There's 120 calories in a serving, and a serving is two macaroons, which means we only ate 30 calories a piece. Oh, oh no, wait, we ate a whole macaroon. We ate a whole macaroon. Man, well, I still want another one. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, though. Nice try. I tried. Okay, 11 grams of fat, three grams of protein, 14 total carbohydrates in two macaroons, seven grams of dietary fiber, nine sugar alcohols. So most of your carbs there are coming from sugar alcohol. So what does that make it? 14 minus, one net carb? Is that right? What one now? net carb? I'm looking to see my counting wrong. It's one net carb. That's kind of amazing. One net carb per serving. But I mean, I'll and even And a serving take, is two. A serving is two. Now again, um, now I'll I do like the fact they're telling you the whole thing. I'll take the to total eat the whole carb. pouch. It's 960 calories, so it's seven total carbs per macaroon. But of the seven total carbs, 
Four and a half of that is sugar alcohol. Not fiber. So it's not fiber. It's only two grams of fiber. So I like, again, we talk about that all the time. I'd rather have a higher total carb so long as the carb is mostly sugar alcohol and not fiber. I don't want to see a whole bunch of added fiber. Their fiber is coming from the coconut flakes Which and I'm some almond with. flour. That's, that's their fiber. There's no added fiber to this. You're up. Okay, again, I love that they've got the whole bag. If I want to sit and eat the whole bag, I'm, I will know exactly what I'm doing. The what's only going thing on. that's stopping me from eating this whole bag is seeing 960 calories. Well, 720 is, is prohibitive, yeah. Okay, but there's four servings in, in a container. I can't even talk, I'm so excited. And it is full. It is not it one is of, full. It is not one of those bags where it's like half air. So four servings in a container, each serving has 180 calories, 16 grams of fat, eight grams of protein, two total carbs, one dietary fiber, which is, you know, all the seasonings and everything. Mm -hmm. So it is one net carb per serving. One net carb. So, but, but if I eat, but if you eat, if the, I eat entire the entire thing, bag, I'm it, only eating eight total carbs. Yeah. Now, I mean, again, at 720 calories of cheese and almond flour, but... That sounds like a good eight day. Eight total carbs? Like, that sounds like my birthday. That feels like a really good meal. <laughs> okay. Number three, how do they taste? I think you guys can tell by really our reaction. Good. Really good. Now, again, this is very... I will say the, the cheese strips are very different than other cheese snacks that I've experienced. They aren't the crispiest things. No. But they're not, like, soft like a potato chip either right they're right in the middle honestly the best way to describe them is a cheese pie crust i think you nailed it perfectly i'm sorry but it's got a cheese it's got a pie crust consistency it's very baked tasting i will say they probably but it's cheese they probably do like they came like wrapped in bubble wrap and i'm assuming that's like kind of like to protect it because you can see it does it's a little crispy yeah. but, but it's crumbly too it, it's crumbly but it's got a little kick. It's got a little kick. Mm hmm But yeah, it's like cheese and almond flour mixed. Very different. Very different. I like that because I've had a lot of cheese snacks. Yeah. It's, I'm always surprised when there's something new. You're like, there isn't anything new you could do with cheese, right? Right. Wrong. Yeah, I think both products taste incredible. I don't know, like, where we've been. I mean, 2018, well, I guess they were, like, in some farmer's markets, but... We need to get to those farmer's markets in the, Texas. This is good. Okay, so number four, how much do they cost? Okay, so embracing we, myself. We looked on Amazon. I forgot the exact price. I'm gonna put it here. I know the cheese crisps were like fourteen ninety seven. It was okay. roughly fifteen dollars. These were like fourteen eighty something. Fifteen dollars a bag, right? Right. Fifteen dollars a bag. But again, they did give us a coupon code, which is twenty two crazy ketos, and that's gonna get you twenty percent off your purchase on Amazon. Yeah. Which, and then if top it off, if you're like an Amazon Prime member, you get your shipping and stuff. So For free ski. That is pretty good. So what does that come out with 20% off on that? That's... I was told there's no math in this relationship. That's another $3 off, roughly, right? I'll take it. Roughly $3 off, so $12 a bag. I definitely think that's worth it. $12 divided by eight servings. That's $1.50 a serving? Here's the thing. I'm thinking about this for the holiday time. Putting, I was just gonna say, putting this piece. out instead of buying that can. You've made macaroons though. It ain't this cheap. No. You're not gonna be making Coconuts this expensive. yourself yeah. for this cheap. No, this, this I think it's pretty good. Number five. Would we recommend it? Would we recommend this? Anybody that is running a company with this kind of integrity, putting out a product that's this tasty, absolutely. Yeah, I absolutely recommend it. First of all, I think it tastes incredible. I don't think it's priced that bad. No. And then to top it off, it is, it's a, a mother and son from within the keto community. I'd much prefer to support them than some of like the big corporate America companies that are starting to like put stuff in grocery stores and label it keto and say, hey, go ahead and buy this. And right. they're trying to manipulate numbers to make us eat it. No, this is just tasty. It definitely tastes very, you know, fresh made, yep. farmer's market. Yeah. But sometimes, like right now, there is no farmer's market. Yeah. I can't get to a farmer's market. So this way I can get to a farmer's market. Yeah. 
Well, that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comments section if you guys have ever tried Catonia and what your thoughts on it were. Please do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.